first Florida played a terrific game. Um, you saw a, a really good defensive team um, play against a team that was really struggling offensively. Um, but you can see why they're good, their quickness, their athleticism. Uh, the thing that was frustrating is we, we really accomplished a lot this year. And then to, to end that way is what obviously really stings. It really does. London's had such an amazing career, and you know, it's just it's part of life. I could hear the Xavier guys, they were right next to our locker room, and the way they were celebrating after their big win and the thrill of victory, and then you get the, the agony of defeat. You feel that. But that's life, and we'll grow from it. Um, our, our returners got some valuable experiences, and we've got work to do. That's obvious. But, um, but again, I want to tell you that Florida played a heck of a defensive game, and, and we were very poor offensively. Uh, but they got some length behind. London and I were talking about it, the quickness up front, and then that length behind protecting the rim was, was very challenging for us, and we didn't shoot it well when we got some looks. So that's what happens. Second row on our left. Tony, when you walked off the... Uh, if, yeah, if we could, could we, could we ask uh, for uh, London and Jack first, please? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. We just want to get them back to the locker room. Go ahead. Uh, London, could you just... I mean, obviously, you, you had a terrific game the other night, struggled more tonight. Could you just talk a little bit about... Florida's defense and how much what they did impacted your inability to get the kind of production you wanted? Um, obviously, the, the guards were quick. Um, they got into the ball. Um, but it's, I think it helps when they have, obviously, like Coach said, uh, length in the, in the front court. Um, so if you get by that first guy, that you're, you're, you're meeting some, some athletic, tall guys in the paint. And, um, and obviously, when we got some open looks, we couldn't, we didn't hit those either. So um, they kind of just packed that paint and basically dared us to make a three. And I think we made one tonight. And I don't think you're going to win a game like that. So front row on our right, and then back to the third row. Jack, today you, you and Mamadi start together for the first time. You opened up the game pretty well between you two and getting some production. You guys combined for six of the first eight points, eight of the first 13. What did you think you guys were doing well then? And then as the game kind of progressed, did, they, did their size start to kind of negate things uh, in the post for you? I mean, yeah, I thought we had a pretty, the team had a pretty solid start, um, playing them well. And then just their length and their quickness got to us a little bit. And um, they were just getting looks, and we weren't converting on us. Yeah, just to add to that, it was, I think it was 19 to 17. Um, then at about the three minute marker, 303, I was looking at that, at these, when they went up 21 17. Um, you know, and we were playing the way we needed to, and then it, it just separated. But uh, certainly Jack and Mom, and he did some good things, but um, I thought we had the game kind of going the way we wanted early, and, and then it separated. Third row on our right. London, um, obviously not the way you expect to end your career, sitting on the bench and kind of watching it transpire. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind in those last few minutes? Any reflections or? Um, I, I, I don't even know what was going through my mind. <laughs> it's. Um, a bunch of emotions, obviously, um, just, yeah, uh, it, it's, the, it was over. For, it was over for me. I couldn't do anything else uh, to help extend that, help extend my season, my career. Um, so I guess just kind of feeling like, like, like I couldn't do anything a anymore was, was kind of frustrating for me. And, um, but, yeah, obviously I got to step back from it and, and, and look at the past four years. And obviously I, I did some... I did some things that I, that I could be proud of, but um, right now, obviously, it's tough. Front row on our left. London, when you, when you know, you know your career's ending like this, how much do you try to get those other guys involved? It seemed like you're, you're still trying to get those other guys involved. And, mm -hmm. and what does the future look like for Yeah, for I mean, I'm not going to – I knew my shot wasn't falling, but I was still going to try to be aggressive, obviously. But my, my game is not to go out and play one-on-one. -on -one. So even though we were down 20, 25, I, I'm not. I'm not the person to just try and go get mine. I'm about to go out on a high note. No, I just. I was just trying to keep playing. Keep playing ball. Maybe some shots will fall. Maybe we get some stops. Um, but yeah, I came in with the team. I'm going out with the team. So it's it's not a one man thing. One more for London and Jack, and then we'll go back to Coach. Uh, London, I'm curious with Kyle and Ty being younger guys. Mm -hmm. It seemed like last year that loss, Malcolm's last game, was very impactful for you they had a similar reaction to this being your last game. What do you hope that they learn or take away specifically from mm -hmm. kind of tonight and how tonight feels? Yeah, obviously, um, Coach Bennett talked about it. Uh, we, they're going to have to come back. And if, if they want to get to that next level, it's going to 
you got to take this feeling and make put the fuels to the fire and um, and get back to work during the summer, uh, during the off season, um, so we don't so they don't have this feeling again. Um, obviously, I don't want to have this feeling again. Um, so I, it's gonna it's gonna add some fuel to my fire too moving forward. Um, but I, I know I know they'll be back. Um, they, we've got some good young talent, and Coach Ben is a genius behind behind it. Um, so just. They'll get back to work, and they'll be back for sure. London and Jack, thank you very much. You can go back to the locker room. Congrats on a great season. Second row on our left for Coach. Yeah, Tony, um, over here again. Um, after their flurry at the end of the first half and the, and the dunk, you kind of just had, looked like you had a bemused face. I don't know what the expression to call it, but kind of a, a weird smile on your face like you just didn't have an answer on the way off the court. Can you, yeah. Do you remember what you were thinking at that point? I don't think I was happy. I think I was just trying to think. I, not sure what it was. I just, you know, again, as I said, it's 1917 with about 315 or whatever, and we had missed some shots, but we were battling, and then we, we struggled to score, and then we had a few breakdowns. And if if we're not shooting well, it's hard for us because we, you know, we don't score a whole lot in the post, and they're they're potent. You know, they get down the floor. I just I just said, all right, how are we gonna? I was trying to figure out at the half, is there anything we can do? We we started out going four guards, but I was just frustrated because I thought we had played well enough to, to be at least attached and didn't think the game was over. Um, but I just didn't like that feeling of how we finished the last, didn't score, I think, the last five minutes. And then the last three minutes, they went on that 10 0 run, and we gave up too much when we were fighting to hang in there. But um, that's enough. Yep. Second row on our right and then up front. I think after one of the early season wins, you were asked about the team, and you said you didn't know how good the team could be, but you just wanted it to play to its potential, whatever that would be. Do you think maybe tonight aside that this team this team got everything out of itself that it yeah. maybe could have, it's a, I, particularly I told, with Isaiah out tonight? Yeah. I mean, that affected us, of course. Um, I told this team a few nights ago they're one of my favorite teams. And... Um, I might have to rethink. No, I'm just kidding. I still feel that way about them because we lost a lot. Uh, there was a lot of expectations, but they did a lot. Take this game away, and, and you can't take it away completely. But to finish 11 and seven, to win uh, what did we win? 23 games to make the tournament to advance with the inexperience uh, and to stay together. We went through some of the losses. Um, I admired that about them, and I always admired that. And Isaiah gave us everything he could and tried to play, but. This team got a lot from itself, and that's a credit to them. It's a credit to the, the coaching staff. But then you had to end it this way to just get overwhelmed like that the last, uh, the last whatever minutes and just you know, feeling a little bit uh, outmatched was frustrating. Um, but like I said, I challenged the guys that are returning and said, you gotta grow from this. We've got three more questions here, here, and then back. I'm going to cheat with a two-part one. At 13-13, is that game unfolding kind of exactly the way? I mean, yeah, I, I like that. You know, Jack battled, and Mamadi was good early. Um, it, but yeah, we, we, were, we were defending pretty well. Um, we were hitting them with some screens, got a couple easy ones at the rim, pocket passes, wraps. It was, it was right. But there's no, there, there is a reason why Florida in defensive efficiency is in the top five in the country. Um, they really defend, and you got to make some shots. And, but I liked what we were doing early. But, but they adjusted and did a good job. And then, again, we had too many breakdowns, and, and then it was separated. But yeah, it was going the way we needed to go to play against them. And you've talked about not having a post presence really for scoring and some other yeah. offensive limitations. Given that, and I know you haven't done it yet, but evaluate kind of what, what you and the staff were able to do. It seemed like almost game to game you had to find other yeah. ways to do it. Was that fun, challenging? Yeah, well, you know, against um, UNC Wilmington, we went five guards and tried to attack and make some plays. And I mean, we tried it again, and it, it, it didn't work. We were desperate, trying to find ways to get some points on the board. But yeah, at times, we had to play four guards. We had to use Devin at times. <laughs> you know, in the, the game against UNC Wilmington, it was five different guys playing. Um, it was challenging, I, fun. I mean, I, it was rewarding when it went well, and it was always such a fine line. And you saw when things aren't going well against a team of this caliber in this setting, uh, to get smacked like that <clears throat> is tough. Um, but I told you guys on whatever day, I, I hold this with open hands, and I have to. I have to learn from it. Um, 
I'm, I'm very fortunate and I, I look at this opportunity as a, a blessing and um, to coach, to be in these settings. And I say, it, if you're going to take the good, you have to take the hard and, and, uh, and grow from it. And that's what I will try to do. And I, I probably made some mistakes in this game. I've got to go back to the drawing board and figure out where we can tighten things up and be better. On our right, and then one more. Mommy and Jack had combined for 17 points and, and 16 rebounds. I would have liked that on the front end. <laughs> right. If you had uh, told me that. Well, what? You would have taken like that our, going in. Yeah, I, I would have said it's not going to be a 65 to 39 game. What did you think of, of, of their play? I know Mamadi makes that first start. Yeah, he did good. Mamadi, you know, a couple times he had some breakdowns. But, but those two guys, you know, that's a sophomore and a freshman. Um, and, and they battled. You saw, you know, Jack's heart. He's, he's a warrior. And um, you saw Mamadi's athleticism. Mamadi's got to, you know, keep getting used to it. But Darius at times did some good things. So, you know, I, I liked uh, at least for the most part what I saw in them. And um, it wasn't a lack of effort on their part for sure. Final question back to our left. When you are having an offensive game like this, or lack of offensive game, what, what can you do in game? Is there anything that you can do to, to get the spark? And then what do you yeah. do this off season to yeah. knowing that you need that? Yeah, for sure. Um, we, we tried to, you know, we went with four guards at times, tried to spread the floor ball screen a little more. They're pretty good. Um, you know, we, we, we tried our, our whole package, really, basically different things, different lineups. Um, got some decent shots, but again, you go one of 15. Um, and, and, and then our defense, it got a little shook. But, um, you know, we, we've, there's a gap. We've got to improve our program. They, they accomplished some stuff this year, but we've got to get better. Um, and we've got to continue to recruit well, continue to develop players well. Um, we have two guys that redshirted uh, that I think, you know, in the future can help for sure. But, uh, but, we just got to keep growing for sure. And those young guys, Ty and Kyle and um, Mamadi as first years, invaluable experiences to play in the ACC and get the amount of minutes they did and the opportunities to get in the NCAA tournament, ACC tournament. Um, that's, that's important. And even though it, and, and probably it, it should sting, and that'll push those guys to work. But uh, they had some great moments, too, for being freshmen. And that's, uh, that's part of using that and figuring out ways to try to get a little more scoring, a little more shooting, all those things come into play.